the art world is so heavily um, like gatekeeped and who has access to art is the people that have um, the excess time and like resources to get involved. This is talking about more like institutionally recognized art, right? And it's like um, the institutionally recognized art and, and art that is uplifted by hegemonic systems of power. And so when you think about um, who has the access, the most access to art is the folks who can pay for it. Um, the individuals who, um, where the, the, the opportunities just sort of come easier to them because of that. Um, and I've only been so fortunate to have those opportunities because someone was willing to pay for it because I didn't have the money or my parents didn't have the money um, for me and my siblings to sort of have access to it. So um, it, I think that's sort of a, a thing that presents itself as a barrier for individuals who may want access to art. I have um, a lot of friends who are doing dance in disenfranchised communities, who are doing dance in underrepresented and under-resourced communities, uh, historically under-resourced communities. And it's um, the, I think that one of the, uh, the stories that gets told a lot is that there's not a lot happening there, and it's so detrimental to the people who are actually doing the work there. Um, so I think that it's really important to recognize that there is actually a lot of art happening in spaces that don't necessarily have the funding um, of the big programs that we see. Um, but then at the same time, what's happening is that those same people and those communities are also being system uh, systemically and systematically uh, kept from the funding that would actually make it possible for people to make um, to make lives, you know, to, to be able to support themselves in order to um, have a long-term lasting effect on the communities that they're already impacting. I think that there are increasingly um, more avenues to participate in creative expression outside of um, traditional institu art institutions and I think that that is really awesome but also there are a lot of different kinds of art that um, very purposefully circumnavigate like the traditional art mold and that kind of gives them more power. There's so much um, respectability politics and like hoops that people have to jump through in order to, to seem like uh, they're deserving of receiving funding um, and much more so for uh, individuals and communities of color than for white communities uh, and individuals so I think that uh, really the, the true, um, just the, the true tool that they're using to, to combat the system is just simply existing.